In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A11 screen to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A11 screen to your TV. We're going to show you two ways to do this. So one way is going to be mirroring everything that's on your screen. For example, if you were trying to show uh, a game that you're playing or like photos from a trip, you can show everything. It'll mirror everything from your screen to the TV. In the second method, we're gonna show you how to just send a video from your screen to the TV. Maybe you just have a YouTube video or a Hulu or Netflix video you wanna play from your phone to the TV, but you don't necessarily wanna mirror the entire screen. We're gonna show you that method as well. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to make this work, you will need to have home Wi-Fi. So make sure you do have wireless uh, internet set up where you are and your phone should be connected to it. Just tap on the little Wi-Fi signal there and make sure it's turned on. The second thing you'll need is a Chromecast or a Roku device. That is the device that we're gonna use to transmit your screen to your TV. Now on some smart TVs, you will be able to just send your phone to the smart TV without one of those devices. It really just depends. Um, the way you'll know if your TV will work is um, watch the method that we show you and if your TV shows up in the list, then it works. Um, but just uh, as a disclaimer, some of the older smart TVs do not uh, work with this technology. So um, keep that in mind. If your TV does not show up in the list that we bring up in a minute, then you will need a Chromecast or a Roku device. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna swipe now from the top of the screen here, swipe down again, and look for the icon that says Smart View and tap on Smart View. Okay, so we're gonna slide the phone over to this section right here, and I'm gonna show you how to mirror it to the Chromecast. You're gonna just tap on where it says Chromecast. Now that's what I have mine named. You might have yours named something else, so just keep in mind, below it, it will say Google Cast. That's how you know it's your Chromecast. Tap on that. And then you're going to hit start now. And just that easy, you should see um, your TV should go dark and then it's going to uh, show up on the screen. Um, hit change for the ratio. Actually uh, hit cancel. The change doesn't look that good. So hit cancel there. And now you'll see that your phone is mirrored to the TV. Uh, everything you do on your phone is going to show up exactly mirrored to the TV. So. Um, if I wanted to show gameplay, I can have a, a game opened up. I can show a video. Again, whatever is going on on your screen, it will show up. Now, um, if you wanted to show an app that supports landscape, which is you turn the phone sideways, that will also work too, just like this. Um, so the TV will support landscape and portrait mode for your phone as well. Now here's the thing, um, if your goal is simply just to play a video from your phone, this is not the best method to mirror your screen. So what I would suggest you do is tap on this little blue dot here and then go down to disconnect. And that's how you stop it from mirroring. So again, that first method is great for showing specific things that are on your phone, gameplay, pictures, videos, uh, it's a direct mirror. But the second method I think is the method most people will find more useful. And this is if you wanna play, for example, a YouTube video or a Netflix video, something like that, you can simply just go to the video and you'll notice, so like this video right here, if I tap on it and pause it, you'll notice in the upper right corner, there's this little icon. This is your cast icon, if you tap on that, and then tap on the Chromecast. Right here it says Chromecast TV 2. Now it's gonna send just the video to the TV and now I can, one, control my video with, I can control the, the volume from my phone. But also, and the best part to me is that I can now go home and I can use my phone to do other things while the video is playing. So 
If your goal again is just to watch a video, this is the best method. Your phone is still working properly. You have control over the video playing. You can easily just swipe down. You can pause the video here if you want. You can advance to a new video. Um, you can swipe down for more options. You can drag this little bar to jump to a different section of the video. Or if you're all done, just hit the X here and that will close out the video altogether. So that's really the process for you to mirror your screen to the TV. Now that is the Chromecast option. Now if we were to swipe down and go back to Smart View. So my Roku will also show up on this list. It's not showing up right now for some reason. So we'll just, oh, there it is. It took a minute to get on the screen. But we'll go back here. So this is my Roku right here. And the only difference is that when I tap on the Roku, um, your Roku is gonna have a pop-up on the screen that should say um, a device is trying to mirror to your TV, do you accept it? You have to take your remote and you'll have to accept it first before you are able to send the content to the TV. So that's the only difference. But other than that, um, everything else should work just about the same. Um, one last thing, make sure you switch your TV to the uh, appropriate source or input that your Chromecast or Roku is plugged into. If not, you won't see what I'm seeing, which is the Chromecast or Roku screen on the TV. So obviously you've got to switch to the right input in order to see what we're sending to the TV. So anyway, guys, this has been our just quick video walking you through how to mirror your screen to the TV. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. I will leave a link down below of where you can buy a Chromecast or a Roku in the event you need one to make this work. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.